Hello family, here we go again. Um, I'm coming out here to assess my little lake that I have here in front of the house. You know, I got a few theories that I'm going to test to see if I can alleviate some of this water, which is causing problems for everybody going through here, you see? And, um, you know, I know a lot of people have different opinions as to uh, how they would approach this. But I got my pick and my shovel. And I'm about to see what I can do on uh, trying to get this thing, some of this water out of here. Just a couple of theories, but, you know, I'm a kind of, I got a do guy. You know, the, I'm not the one to sit around and do nothing when I see something. Some people sit and talk about it. Some people sit and theorize about it. Some people say, let's do this this way, that way. But I'm not that kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy to say, okay, we have a problem. Let's, what, what can we do to fix it? And this is where we're at here. So I'm gonna walk up here and uh, just assess this thing. See what my best course of action would be to try to get some of this water out of here and then hopefully get a couple dumps of uh, gravel somewhere up in here. i tell you the truth, if I had my way, I would dump all of this for everyone coming through here. So, so I'm gonna get this out of here the best I can. Let me see what I can do. That side there isn't too bad, but this is more so what I gotta get out of here. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, here we go. I am started to dig out my trench to run it all the way down along the side of this road, inside this road, so that I can uh, try to drain this water over here. And every time it rains, hopefully, it'll run over here. It's like an aqueduct, I guess you could say. It's like an overflow. I try to get like a little overflow or something here just to alleviate this water. And uh, just trenching it out here. Uh, try to get down to the, below the water line as low as I can get to get as much as this out of here because you can't even walk through here without going through the water. Um, you know, so I say let's do it. You can talk about it or you can do it. And no matter what's happened here in the Gambia with us, you know, the break-ins and all that stuff and us making plans to do what we have to do. But that doesn't mean you can't, you know, still do good things while we're here. And if it can help, if I can help the community until I leave, we'll do that. You know, because well, we all know the break-in was evil, but you overcome evil with good. And I'm not concerned about it. I don't run from nothing. I don't cower down from anything. We stand strong in the, in the power of the might of Abba Yah. And it's, we just keep going and I'll do what I can while I'm here, you know, if it'll help in any way. So I'll be back with the update on how, if it works. <laughs> All right, guys, see how it works. Okay, fam, after digging out the trench here, I got a little more to do. The water did go down some. I just wanted to see it flow. And uh, it is running, flowing, so it's coming this way. You really can't see the current, but I actually dug alongside the, this uh, neighboring fence and kept the road open as much as I could. And uh, I'm sure once it goes down, I'll see the lower points of the water level. And this is flowing right there. I can see a flow coming out. So see that lead or that this thing shows me that it's flowing. So. I catch the flow, see no. So that's good. Now let gravity uh, work. The most high has something. He has a good pump. It may be slow, but it drains it. 
And uh, as you can see, this went down. I kind of backfilled that with some of the dirt. And it's going down. So I'll give it some time, come back out here and see. Also, I kind of built a bridge here just temporarily. I'll smooth it back out. So I guess when people go by, they can actually uh, walk on the bridge. Hope the sun dries it out. Pretty, pretty stable. For the most part, the water is going down a little bit. I can see it. And uh, we still have some of the fights coming through, which is great. Yep, so let's see how this thing works. I'll be back. Okay, I think this is the final one for today. Pretty much got this little pocket of water here that I'm gonna have to probably trench over into here. And it's all draining down, but it's going real slow. So after it drains down, then I can kind of assess what my points are but it is i still see a flow so it is flowing this way but it's going slow if you can if you can see that little thing flowing down nice and slow coming down see it like a little boat on a river see it coming down <laughs> it's moving slow but i do have a flow which is good so it's all flowing from up here once it gets to a lower point, I can see better. And then I can adjust. You see, it's all coming down, but it seems to be slow. See it moving? I can see it coming. It's coming down, but like I said, slow. But anyway, a lot of this water is gone. All that water that was there is pretty much coming down. And then it reveals what's underneath, which are tadpoles. All these tadpoles under there, see them? They're swimming all around. Those are frogs I hear every night. They always swimming in. A lot of tadpoles in this water. So anyway. It's coming out better. And this up here pretty much has came, come down considerably. Still got a lot of water in there, but it used to be all the way up here, and now it's going down there. Then once it goes down to where I want to be able to dig a little path so it can all drain out of there somehow and come over here, you know, maybe get a pipe or something and run it over there and cover it up, a little drainage system. So, but all that that takes money. So I'm I'm gonna go as as a as my pocket allows and uh it would be great if it was a community event but i'm not gonna worry about that that'll come but everybody's been coming through here i've seen a couple people walk on the bridge they were glad the bridge was here the water's gone so at any rate i'm happy with it and by tomorrow, most of this will be gone, and I can work again. If it's not raining, if it rains, then it's gonna build back up and has to drain again, so. But the, the whole thing is just to see if I can get some kind of system to get this water down so I can dry to drop some stone one, or gravel or something, you know? Because I don't want to put it in when it's wet. I have to do it when it's dry. All right, so that's it for now, guys. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I thought I was done, but I decided to come back out after maybe an hour or so to see if there's been any um, improvement in the drainage on this here. Yeah, it's, it has drained a lot. And uh, I see what I have to do to make it drain some more. But that has drained a lot as well. So, so I just thought I'd come back out and check it out. Clean this all up. Smooth it out. But I'm happy with it, so it's still draining. So thought I'd just check it out one more time. 
And I guess I am done now, you know. And that's what it looks like after a little couple hours of training. Got a lot of it going. So I'm happy with what I see so far. Yeah, look at that. That went down a lot. Yeah. Okay, here's the water line right here, I think, where my foot is. Right there is the water line. See that water line right? Right there. That's the water line, and it moved all the way down to here. So it did drain quite a bit, and it's going to keep draining faster. So I'm happy. There you go. Thanks again.